हेलो गाइज वेलकम टू माई चैनल दिस इज उदय पंडित एंड यू आर वॉचिंग एम ई पी टेक्निकल वर्ल्ड इन दिस वीडियो वी लर्न अबाउट फेज फेलियर रिले और वी कैन से सिंगल फेज प्रिवेंटर रिले सो बेसिकली हाउ डज इट वर्क एंड हाउ टू डू इट्स कनेक्शन सो इन दिस वीडियो वी लर्न इट सो बिफोर स्टार्ट दिस सेशन आई वुड लाइक टू रिक्वेस्ट यू इफ यू आर नॉट एट सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल प्लीज सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल एंड ऑल्सो हिट द बेल आइकन सो विल गेट नोटिफिकेशन रिगार्डिंग माई अपकमिंग वीडियोज सो लेट्स स्टार्ट इट सो हेयर वी आर ऑन फेज फेलियर रिले सो बेसिकली वॉट इज फेज फेलियर रिले द रिले हुई मोनिटर्स द फेज ब्रेक फेज सिक्वेंस अंडर वोल्टेज ओवर वोल्टेज एंड फेज अनबैलेंस If any parameter senses at that condition, it trips the MCCB contractor and start and stop the DG or diesel generator. If this parameter will be failed at that condition, it trips the MCCB contractor and even in case of ATS panel or AMF panel. it is start and stop the dg okay so basically why we need this relay so let's take a example suppose this is our three phase induction motor okay and it is running through this three phase power okay at this condition this motor is running through this r y b phase okay so in case r phase will be out during the operation okay during the running time then what happen if this motor will be running through this y and b phase for a long time at that condition what happen our motor coil will be burn out so this will be our huge loss for rewinding the our motor okay if we implement the phase failure in this circuit then if this r phase will be break out at that condition this phase failure relay will trip the contractor hence at that time this motor will be protected so in this way this phase failure relay protects the motor and even we have a let's take a another example suppose this is the motor okay running a conveyor belt so this is the conveyor belt it is moving towards this direction okay suppose this motor is again operated through this three phase r y b okay so here we have a material materials which we are transferring at this end okay in this direction so actually this motor rotates this conveyor belt in this direction okay so that's why this object will travels in this direction okay now suddenly in case this phase are interchange suppose it is previous it is r phase now it become y and it become r now in this condition what happen the phase sequence of these three phases are changed that's why as you know that when we interchange the phase supply then at that condition this motors direction will be changed now in this condition this motor will rotate in this direction so at that condition what happen the material will be thrown out in this direction and here will have a mechanical damage also so to remove this problem we have to implement the phase failure relay as you know that this phase failure relay also prevents from phase sequence if the phases are interchanged at that condition this breaks the circuit of this motor hence this motor will be protected in this way so basically these are the advantages of using this phase failure relay okay that's why we need this phase failure relay in motor starter circuit or ac panels or mccb panels or in ats panel okay now let's move to actually how it works so the output relay is energized when all three phase voltage are present 
and the phase conditions like voltages and phase sequence are correct so this relay is only energized when the all three phases are correct correct means all phases should be present and phase sequence should be right like r y b and it should not be under voltage and it should not be over voltage as per our relay setting only at that condition this relay will be energized okay if this parameter are okay then only at that condition this phase failure relay actually energized okay suppose this is our common terminal and this is our anode termin terminal and this is our nc terminal so when every parameter is correct at that condition this relay coil phase ferial relay coil get energized and its contacts become changed no contact become nc and nc contact become n so actually in this way this relay works if the all parameters will be okay at that condition only this phase failure relay coil energized okay if one of them any parameter is absent or does not correct then at that time this relay coil got de-energized okay now let's move to the real view of phase failure relay so here we have a model vsp d1 phase relay which is made by mini leg company okay so here we have a vsp d1 model phase failure relay actually okay and it is made by mini leg company okay and as you can see over here these are the terminal where we can connect the our ryb phases okay and this is the auxiliary supply okay here we can connect it for 15 volt so here we have a two indicator green and uh, red if the everything is okay then this will be blue if anything goes wrong among these parameters at that condition this indicator red indicator will be glow it means it trips the circuit it is this relay is in trip condition okay now as you can see over here these are the terminals at that condition we don't know which terminal is NONC and auxiliary contacts okay so for that we have to look this circuit diagram from the side of its relay so this is the circuit diagram which is the side of this relay okay so where we can read the circuit diagrams so as you can see over here one two three so these are the terminal one two three where we can connect r y b okay and here we have a seven and nine number terminal this is the auxiliary contact so this is the actually relay coil terminal so here we have a 7 number and 8 number. So this is the auxiliary supply where we can connect two phases which is 415 volt. Okay. And 13 number is a common terminal. Here we have a 13 number which is the common terminal. And 14 number is actually ano contact. Okay. When the relay is not connected at the system. Okay. So this is actually. 14 number is NO okay and 15 number is NC terminal here we have a little bit confusion but initially if we are not applied RYB phase at this terminal then initially this 14 number is NO contact and this 15 number is NC contact actually okay so in this way we can read the circuit diagram of this phase failure relay so here we have a another diagram as you can see over here this is the one two three here we can connect r y b and seven and eight number is auxiliary supply and 13 number is common terminal 
and 14 number is NO terminal okay and 15 number is NC terminal okay we are not given the RYB power supply phase that's why initially 14 number is NO contact and 15 number is NC contact when we apply the three phase power supply RYB to its terminal then this relay will get energized and its NO contact become NC and C contact become NO so in this way actually it works so here we are operating this three phase induction meter with the help of this contactor okay if this contactor will be on at that condition this motor will be on okay if this contactor will be off then this motor will be also off here this contactor is operating through this relay okay so here we are not going to explain the dual starter okay because we are on working of phase failure relay so first let's understand the how this relay works and how this motor will be protected from this phase failure relay okay so initially as you know that this is the common terminal okay and this is the NO contact okay and this is the NC contact at that condition we are not given the power supply okay over here so this is the actual condition at right now when we connect the R phase Y phase and B phase and also apply the 415 volt across this auxiliary contact okay 7 and 8 number now we switch on the three phases power supply across this bus bar hence this relay also got three phase power supply this auxiliary contact also got power supply 415 volt power supply okay even these three phases are also available at input terminal of this contactor now when this relay get power supply from this bus bar if everything is okay at that condition what happened its relay coil get energized hence its NO contact become NC and NC contact become NO as you can see over here here okay so now this phase supply is flowing like this okay and in this way this contactor got phase supply from here and neutral from here now this contactor get energized and hence this makes the circuit between this terminal and hence this motor will get a power from this contactor and at this condition this motor is running okay so at that condition every parameter is okay even we have a ryb phase is present even our phase sequence ryb is okay even we do not have any phase unbalance between two phase okay so this is the good condition so at that condition this motor is running now let's assume over here suppose among these three phases one phase will be out or break okay so suppose this r phase will be out so here previously we have a r phase now r phase will be out here so at that condition what happened this relay coil get de-energized hence this contact now again become a anode here in this way this power stuck over here this will not get a path because now this 14 number is become anode that's why this here this power will not get and in this way this contactor coil not get phase supply and this contactor coil get de-energized hence this contactor break the circuit hence finally this motor will be stopped so in this way this phase failure relay protect this motor from phase failure okay so in this video we have learned about phase failure relay actually how does it work and how to do connection of this relay so hope you guys understand the video so thank you for watching this video please like share comments and subscribe and also hit the bell icon so you'll get notification regarding my upcoming videos. So thank you very much. See you again in next video.